And joining me is UCLA pediatric ear, nose, and throat surgeon, Dr. Nina Shapiro. This is an amazing study, actually, because we as ENTs have always seen kids with some behavioral issues if they have a bad night's sleep. And definitely tonsils, adenoids can be the problem, and we take out their tonsils, and sometimes their behavior can get better. But to the degree that it's leading to learning disabilities and that these kids are needing special education, that is incredible. And let's go over to the magic wall really quick, Dr. Shapiro, because I want to show people why if you, as a child, have enlarged tonsils or adenoids, you can actually run into trouble because let's use yellow here to show everyone at home. What normally happens at night, the child breathes, you know, maybe through their nose, it comes down into their airway, you're getting good oxygen into those lungs, it can be through the mouth, into those lungs. But if you have enlarged tonsils or adenoids, show us where those would be. So in general, you should be breathing through your nose and you should not hear any breathing at night. It should be silent. So the adenoids, which you don't see if you look at a child, sit behind the nose and they can fill up the whole nasal airway. So when the air is trying to get through, it'll get blocked by these adenoids. And this will lead to a mouth breather mild snoring. But if a child also has enlarged tonsils and it's filling the whole back of the mouth and the throat, they will have absolutely no airflow. So the nose will be blocked, the throat will be blocked, they'll be trying to get air down into their windpipe, and they will be choking all night and have sleep apnea. What's affected? Well, it's their brain. Because what happens when you're not breathing properly at night is you're not getting enough oxygen to your brain. Your brain is building up carbon dioxide, and of course, you're not getting a proper sleep. These kids are exhausted, but the problem is we don't sometimes think of them as an adult with sleep apnea, falling asleep at, at work, falling asleep at the wheel, driving. What we see is these kids are tired and wired. So these are the kids who are running around the classroom all day. They can't sit still. They can't focus. You don't necessarily think of them as a tired child because they're running around so much. But these kids are actually exhausted because they're not getting a good night's sleep. You need to listen to your child. If you hear your child breathing, there potentially is a problem. Breathing should be silent. So heavy breathing at night heavy means that breathing. maybe that airflow is obstructed. Any noise means that there's some sort of blockage. A little bit of snoring is okay if your child is comfortable sleeping all night, but that loud noise, pauses in the breathing, irregular breathing, these are the kids that need to be checked out. Well, Dr. Shapiro, thank you for joining Pleasure. us and sharing this very important study with us.